When a weak acid and a weak base are mixed, an equilibrium is always established. We're told that the hydrogen oxalate ion, HC2O4- is mixed with the hydrogen sulfite ion, HSO3-, and we're asked to complete the equation for the equilibrium that is established. We start by writing the formulas for the two given reactants, HC2O4- and HSO3-. We find HC2O4- on the acid table, and we see that it is on both sides of the table, so it can act either as an acid or as a base. Therefore, HC2O4- is amphiprotic. We'll label it as amphiprotic here. Now we'll look up HSO3- on the table. We see that HSO3- is also on both sides of the table, so it is also amphiprotic. We'll label it as amphiprotic here. Because HC2O4- is amphiprotic, it is able to act either as an acid or as a base. Because HSO3- is amphiprotic, it is also able to act either as an acid or as a base. So the question is, which one of these will act as the acid in the forward reaction? We find out by locating both of these on the left side of the acid table and comparing their strengths. Locating them, we see that HC2O4- is a stronger acid than HSO3-. The stronger acid of the two, the HC2O4-, is the one that will play the role of the acid. So we'll label the HC2O4- as the acid on the left side of the equation. And the HSO3- will have to play the role of the base. A proton is transferred from the acid to the base. Because HC2O4- loses a proton, it will form C2O4-. And because HSO3- gains a proton, it will form H2SO3. So now we've answered the first question. This is the equilibrium equation. The next question is, will reactants or products be favored at equilibrium? To answer that, we start by identifying the acid on the left side and the acid on the right side. We already know that the acid on the left side is HC2O4-. To find the acid on the right side, we consider the reverse reaction. As the reverse reaction occurs, the H2SO3 is the species that loses a proton. So H2SO3 is the acid on the right. Now we focus on the two conjugate acids in this equilibrium. HC2O4- on the left, and H2SO3 on the right. We look them both up on the left side of the acid table to see which one is stronger. We can see that of these two acids, H2SO3 is the stronger acid, and HC2O4- is the weaker acid. So we can label H2SO3 as the stronger acid, and HC2O4- as the weaker acid in our equilibrium equation. Now we recall that equilibrium will always favor the side with the weaker acid. Because the weaker acid is on the reactant side, we can say that reactants are favored at equilibrium. We now have answered the second question. Now we'll look at the relative amounts of reactants and products present at equilibrium. Because reactants are favored, there are more reactants than products at equilibrium or we can say that reactant concentrations are higher than product concentrations at equilibrium. The last question we're asked is whether the value of Kq for this reaction is less than one or greater than one. Remember that Kq is the ratio of the concentrations of the products to the concentrations of the reactants at equilibrium. In this particular reaction, we had determined that the reactants are favored. Inserting the products and reactants into the Keq expression, and knowing that the reactants are favored, we can see that the numerator is smaller than the denominator. So the value of Keq for this reaction is less than 1. So we have now answered the last question. Remember, when reactants are favored, the value of Keq is always less than 1.